Number one group of divorces in the United States are empty nesters. As soon as the kids leave, we out. We splitting up. Kids looking at us like, Mom, Dad, mm -mm, we've been over. We just was around for y'all. If it wasn't for y'all, me and your daddy would have been broke up. Fellas, do yourself a favor. I'm giving you some good advice. If you ain't, if you're a married type dude, if you are a married type dude, you like, you know, eventually I want to get married. My advice to you is stop wasting your time on somebody you know you ain't gonna marry. Like I said, the only reason men are with you, ladies, for two reasons. Men, you want to take notes? You ready for this one? I always, I've been saying this for years to my female friends, to my dude friends. Men are only with women for two reasons, two reasons only. Number one reason is because we want you in our life. Girlfriend, lover, friend, whatever it is. Wife, we want you in our life. We want you to be a part of who we are. Number one reason. Numero dos, reason why men are with the woman. You think the tiger is territorial? No, 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 no. Men, we are territorial creatures. We don't want nobody to get out. That, that's my, I belong to me. I was the first. Like, like Tony uh, Baker said, I'm the one that sat back and with the big gorilla in between her legs. I was the one that painted all the walls and made the walls the perfect color. Men are territorial. We will sit back in a bad relationship for an extra four years just so Keith down the street don't be able to smack. Mm -mm. We are petty like that. No, I ain't going nowhere. Who, who is there? Where, where, where you going? Me and Ari, instead of moving on, that's my advice for men. If you have not decided that this person, because it only takes two years to find out like really what this person is. And y'all, two years mean that y'all have been through a couple of storms together, some good times, some bad times, some ups and downs in two years. You learn her past personalities, friends, past, parents pass on, and you guys deal with death together in, in that capacity. But other than that, for the most part, in two years, you basically know this person. If after two years, you know she want to get married, and you ain't the married type, or you don't want to marry her, man, move on, dog. Why you with her for five years? What? The sex is good. Dude, do you think she actually manufactured and owned the patent to good sex? Like I said, I ain't, I done had plenty of sex. I ain't never had another was that fantabulous where I'm going to stay with somebody for five years. I'm going to sit up here for five years of my life. Life is short. And I'm about to give five years to somebody because the sex was good? I used to love dudes like you. Because you used to stay the hell out of the way of real men. Real men knew this ain't going to work. So let me leave after a year or two or six months. Let her find her blessing and let me move on and find my, find my blessing. Andrea, real men do that. But you lanes, I like y'all. Because y'all stay where you are in a relationship that you know you ain't got no business being in because you know you ain't going to marry her because you either not the marrying type or you don't want to marry her because she's not your type. So you stay there anyway. And since you stay there, I ain't got to compete with you when it comes to meeting an Andrea because you ain't in the way. You ain't looking for a blessing. You ain't looking for your blessing. You stuck with that chick. So you do this out there to steal with chicks for four, five, six, ten years. Stay there. Stay there. Now, my advice was after two years, you should have moved on. Don't move because as long as you stay there, you ain't in my damn way of, of meeting the type of women I need to meet because you should have left that relationship after two years. But, but since either the sex was good or because she had your kids and y'all couldn't come up with a, a co-parent plan, stay right where you are. Stay right there. Don't move. I don't care if you stay there 10 years. It's only been five. So you can stay the hell out of the way of real men we love when you simps stay the hell out the way i love simps because simps get locked in a situation and don't know how to move stay there because real men don't have to worry about you being any form of competition you are not out here to compete with real men you are not a part you don't walk in the same circles that real men walk in it's been five years. Go ahead, put in another five years. You you be all right. You been with her for five years. She was a size what? A size eight when you met her. Now she's a size eighteen. Don't leave her. Mm, stay right there. You should have left at two years where she can go find her blessings and her purpose. Stay right there because you out the 
way of us real men. And now you got your happy in the situation after five years, seven years. You should have been let that woman go. Let her shed her tears. Let her go through her therapy. Let her meet a new man. Let I don't want another man raising my kids. Well, you should have had no kids by somebody you weren't gonna marry anyway. I don't know where we get this idea of we need to stay with somebody so we don't have to feel guilty. And this, you know what the crazy part is? I'm cool as a fan with my exes. I told y'all last week, guess who got married two Mondays ago? One of my coolest exes that cried like she was a six-year-old child when I said this ain't gonna work. After two years, like, mm, this, uh, nah, this ain't gonna work. Two years. Cried. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful sister. The VP. This was a VP who I said this to, just in case you guys are wondering about the career. But I knew to be honest with that person, and I knew to be honest with myself after two years because we're so caught up on the emotions like we're Whitney Houston I get so emotional baby we're so emotional that we don't know how to be rational and separate from somebody because the emotion the pain of the emotions you should not be with a chick more than two years that you haven't sat back and say we're going to be a serious couple or I'm going to let you go and look for somebody else I don't, I don't need a chick around me for two years if I'm, not, if I'm a married type dude or she don't need to be around me for two years if she a married type chick because I, I ain't about to marry. If I ain't a married type dude and she a married type chick, two years can go by, then year three come. I'm still not a married type dude and you still a married type chick. So I'm not about to marry. Hell no, I'm about to marry you. Not, you know I'm not a married type dude. You're not going to convince me to start all of a sudden want to be married. That's not going to happen. So, yeah, you're right. I don't care if it's after six days, six weeks, six months. If you realize after the first year, oh, this is not the one I want to marry. I smash her. She fine. But I ain't I ain't trying to marry her like that. Let me keep it pushing. Uh, powerful stuff tonight. Yeah, man. We're just trying to keep it real. You ever watch the show uh, Love After Lockup? No, I, I've never heard of that. I did know that statistically that uh, relationships after incarceration, eight, I know what's all everything like in the eighties, but like it's like eighty-seven percent to ninety percent of all marriages or relationships after a person has been incarcerated on average about a year break up. Ninety percent of the time. Is so when you sit back, you say, "I'm gonna stay with her because she was with me when I was down." 90% of the time, it doesn't work. And we're, Now, let's go back. Statistics show 80% of all breakups are done by the woman. Therefore, if 90% of the time when a dude is down and a woman was there for him and it doesn't work, 80% of the time, it was the woman that told him it ain't going to work. So if you think that you're going to that you only got to stay with her because she was down for you. With like I said, you lost your job, or you you went incarcerated, or you were sick and she was there at the hospital. Most of the time, that doesn't keep a relationship together. And most of the time, the person who was down for you is the one to leave you. Think about it, the chick that was down for you when you were in the hospital. The chick that was down for you when you didn't have a the pot to piss in, or when you were being incarcerated. Or when you were being harassed by some exes, whatever it was, statistically, the same chick that you think that you owe allegiance to will leave yo. So why don't you just be a man and just sit down with her and have that conversation? <laughs>